Well, what's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here and welcome to the Paradise C6 YouTube channel. Uh, just excuse my voice, it's been, uh, I don't know, like the past two days it feels like I got a kind of like a sore throat going on, but not really sick, just lost my voice a little bit. But today we're going to be working on the Bronco, getting some finishing pieces up. As you know, we don't have any mirrors on this and the headlights in this have these stock halogen bulbs and I bought these uh, LED... Um, I want to say they were 6,000K. They're not even saying on the the box here. Yeah, maybe it is on the back. Yeah, 6,500K. So it's going to be like a, a whitish blue color. Uh, and then these are the actual mirrors. So uh, let's get this thing opened up and see what these things look like. So I bought these off of Amazon. It was like 36 bucks to the house. And they are basically the standard mirrors. It's, you guys were watching when I installed or painted this thing. The uh, mirrors weren't adjustable because they're all rusted shut and everything. So these are a black finish. So this is them right there. It should be a direct bolt on. And they are not. Unless you have to bend this out down a little bit, which yeah, it looks like you have to bend this down. So it uh, the bolt pattern does look correct. It's just uh, this right here is not meeting, as you guys can see right there. So it does look like we're just going to have to bend this out. So we'll make this fit, get it to work. And as, as you guys noticed, I knew I shouldn't have painted this thing when it was cold out. And I thought like the 45, 50 degree weather we had was going to be good. But the paint did start flaking up. So what we're gonna do is probably springtime, I'll come hit this whole thing with a DA and uh, we'll paint this all over again. I really do like the matte black look. So I think what I'll, we'll, we'll end up doing is matte blacking it and then doing a matte black clear coat over it just to keep it all the same. But we'll get this repainted in the springtime. I'm just gonna rock it the way it is. And once we have the garage finished and I can weld inside of it, we're gonna get the front bumper on and then we're gonna start clearing woods and then taking this off to the woods. So. It's just been a lot of stuff going on with me actually building this and then i'll give you guys an update on that but uh let's get these unboxed i'll throw you guys uh down real quick while i get everything together and then we'll get these mounted up you can see the bolt patterns match up but it was just a little bit off from like reaching so i bent this just a little bit i'm gonna get the top bolted in and getting this all tightened up and then we'll see what it looks like this is looking with this up like this so i think i'm going to do is flip this and that should in turn bring this up a little bit higher to get it where i want it so let me put you guys down i'm gonna flip this and then we'll show you what it looks like all right guys so that's mounted up i do like it better with this the this bracket flipped it didn't have to get any bend in it so i just bent it back to the where it was but this is how it sits this is where everything is i like how it looks and i actually have mirrors so i can back up on this thing so uh i'm just gonna put you guys down i'm going to just install the other side get that done and then i'll check in with you guys when we are doing the headlights and installing those in there so let me uh get that side done and i'll check with you guys in a little bit all right guys so we got both mirrors installed i'm gonna turn the headlights on show you guys what the stock ones are looking like so here's the stock beams as you guys can see right on here it's like this the old old style um, and it doesn't really match with the running lights too so it's gonna look a lot better once we get that on so let me get the hood popped up and then we will uh, get these things installed all right guys so these are fairly simple it's got this like ballasting that goes in it and it's got the the hookup right here and then the bulb goes into the stock location this one's actually a twist in so we're gonna see if this is actually gonna work now that I'm looking at it. Um, let's get this old bulb out. Should be just a clip here. 
That just slides up and unplugs here. These are each sevens. And these are not each sevens. These, what the hell did I buy? Each thirteens. So it's looking like the bulb's actually different from what a stock truck is. So this isn't going to work whatsoever. Here's what it's looking like here. Yeah, so the bulbs are kind of a bust. Uh, really wanted to see what they look like. The plug is actually the same, but the bulb's different. The bulb on this is an H7, and these are H13, so eh, it kind of blows. But um, I guess we'll just order the uh, correct ones and hopefully use these for something else. I think maybe the BMW or maybe the Datsun might be able to use those, so I guess we'll just save that for another time. So we'll pop this bad boy back in here. Put that on. Close this up. Because, so what it is, is on these bulbs, and just in case you guys get these kind of headlights too, the plug's actually an H13. That's why I bought an H13, because it would actually plug into there. But the actual bulb itself for this is an H7. So that's the biggest difference on there for the high-low beam. So I did buy the correct ones, but I didn't realize that these were a different... Um, set up here so we'll just close this back up so it's waterproof again get all the wires in there all right it's kind of hard with one hand so let me put you guys down and then uh, i'll check in with you guys when we're putting this all back together all right guys so it's all buttoned up mirrors are done bust on the lights but uh we will get the h7s and get the proper uh leds in there because i don't really don't like the regular bulbs that are in there the stack the stock halogen so um on this right here so the next step after we got the house wrap up is i'm gonna get all the trimming done so i can get the doors built and get the roof prepared so there's gonna be like trimming that goes all the way around and it's gonna be uh one by six wood basically around all the trimming on this thing and then in between the siding is gonna be a galvanized metal that, that's gonna go over this and I'm gonna use the same stuff for the roof and then after the winter's over we'll paint it the the trim some color to protect the wood and make sure that it, it's all good so this thing's coming along pretty quick the only thing that uh, I want to try to get done this week is get the insulation and then get the vapor barrier up to keep any sort of wind that might intrude that's why this is we did the house wrap on this as well because this is going to keep water and as much wind out as possible and then once we get this insulated and then we throw another vapor barrier on there nothing will be able to come through this whatsoever the hardest part is going to be this doorway because i i kind of did it uh angled on the corners just to make it like look a little fancy so i'm gonna have to do some overhanging stuff and some insulation on the door when i build a door because we're going to do two swinging doors right here going out and then uh once this uh floor has had time to cure probably at the end of the month once i have heat heat in here and i can uh heat the place i'm going to paint the epoxy the floor so i do have to get some like pitting stuff and fill in some some stuff on the edges here but we're probably maybe like a week week or two out before most of this stuff gets finished and then it'll be tidying up little things like getting the electrical ran and all that kind of stuff so i do have the LED lights coming in so I bought 12 um, they're like three foot strips so I'm gonna put uh, probably about eight here and then I'll put four along the lines pointing this way just so we get different angles of light from every direction and I want to try and do the interior walls on this uh, a, a lighter white color or gray they have this um, it's almost like a particle board with some like designs on it. I bought it for the inside of the house and it's fairly cheap for four by eight pieces. And I think I'm gonna do the, all of that in here, um, possibly with some of this uh, OSB as well, just so I can be able to drill and hang things on the wall too. So I think like one or two walls will be the OSB or possibly plywood. And then I'll do the other 
with the um, like the fancy particle board stuff. So just so it gives it kind of a, a different look on two walls and um, will reflect light a little bit better because I want this to be like well lit. So when we do the the turbo build, you guys can see everything. And when we pull the dots in apart, we can see everything that's going on with that. And I do have to get um, Harbor Freight jack stands because as you guys know, we're gonna be doing everything on jack stands. I know I get the oversized ones that go like 30 inches so we can get the cars way off the floor. But yeah, that's about it. I wish the, the headlight things worked out, but that's the update on that. The Bronco is getting there. It's just taking some time. I have been sick like on and off for like the past like two weeks, which sucks, but we're getting there. Front bumper and then we'll be taking that thing off road. And I do really do need to get it geared. It's got like um, 350, I want to say 355 gears in it. Uh, I want to switch over to a 488 and realistically I probably only need like a 410 for the setup that's everything that's going on this but eventually these are 37s I want to step this up to a 40 once these these tires are shot so I want to self prepare for that so we're going to go with 40 488 gears uh, in front and rear and just plan for the future and it'll be nice to not have to make a ridiculous amount of horsepower you can make like 350 400 out of this and with that gearing ratio and 40s it'll should be able to spin all four tires but yeah that's uh that's the update on this i do have the final inspection going on in that soon and then we're going to get roof metal on and then slowly do the same thing with the house wrap and get house wrap all the way around that thing so we can protect the wood and keep it as uh, like clean and out of the elements as we possibly can while we take it, chip away slowly at that but got a lot of big things coming uh, I'm very thankful that a lot of you guys are being patient with me it's been a rough like couple months just between getting everything done I literally started this probably about two weeks ago and just have been going insane not filming much just working pretty much on my own and not like 75% of this has been on my own I did get help from uh, James and Johnny and Kelly anytime she can I would not have been able to get this side this roof or uh, wrap on without her help and getting all that kind of stuff here so I'm really thankful to people that helped me get all this way but I'm gonna end it there it's just been me babbling so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the update on what's going on if you got any questions leave them down in the comments below please like this video and if you haven't subscribed yet please smash the subscribe button and I'll talk to y'all later peace